think the way I heard that metaphor at first was basically that you have sort of four folks who are either driving this vehicle or maybe piloting this plane and you have the main, you know, the main pilot and you have the co-pilot, then you have sort of the three or four in the back that may be even doing some backseat driving and kind of letting you know where to, where to go. Um, I think that works and if it works for you, that's great. Um, for me, I just kind of always thought about it as a muscle. I thought about it as, you know, what is my go-to muscle and that go-to muscle is gonna be the one that's most developed and that's true physically as well. My right arm is more developed than my left arm and I've proven that that, even in the gym to be able to lift heavier weights because it's my go-to arm and so I think for me it's just this idea that um, the dominant function is kind of what you're going to lead life with without anybody having to influence you it's just what you're going to gravitate towards is what comes natural to you it's how you expend the least amount of energy and it's where you discover the most amount of strength or maybe even this concept of flow that is so popular in research where when you're in flow you're just operating in this sense of strength then i think your next function is just kind of it goes in descending order of how often you use that function and therefore it's a less developed muscle so your um, auxiliary function will be sort of the one that helps balance you out. It's the one that you go to, um, not your first one, but it's your sort of second preferred. And then for me personally, I think those two sort of balance me out. And I'll, maybe I can give you an example. So my dominant function is introverted intuition. So I'm constantly thinking of connecting things, connecting patterns, big picture. And then my balancer, that auxiliary function is extroverted thinking. So what happens with me is combine that with my preference for introversion, I'm starting to dissect a problem and starting to think about things. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. I want to go off and I want to think about it. I want to think about all the contingencies. I want to break it down. I want to think about all the different solutions. I want to picture myself solving it in different ways. And then when I'm ready with my three or four sort of go-to plans, now I need a sounding board. Now I need somebody, and there's that extroverted thinking coming out. Now I need somebody to talk it out with. So then I have my sort of go-to people, both in a personal sense, as well as at work, where I say, I'm tackling this problem, here's what I've thought about it, and here's the options, what do you think? But that's me being now that second preferred function after the first one has done its job. And then if you sort of follow suit, the third and the fourth would technically step in at that point, but in my experience, they're far less developed. And so in my particular instance, I would say my fourth function um, doesn't come out to play very often, if you can put it that way.